If you've ever engaged students in movie making, creating movies within the context of your class, likely you've run across needing to find audio that students can use or helping them to find sound effects or background tracks. Well now, YouTube has functionality built in that allows you to search for, find, and download not only tracks, but also sound effects. Let's look at how it's done. To access the various audio tools, you'll need to go to the Creator Studio. If you're on your own channel, you can click on the Creator Studio button here, but anywhere on YouTube, you can access the Creator Studio by going up to your avatar and clicking on the words Creator Studio. Once you're in the Creator Studio, look for the Create section. You can toggle that open by clicking on the down arrow there and you've got audio library and music policies. Audio library is where the free music and sound effects are. Both the free music and the sound effects are available for you to download and you can do that with this download button here once you find the music you're looking for. There's a whole bunch of songs here that you can look through. Let's say you're looking for some romantic music, you could go to mood and choose romantic. And then within romantic, you might say, I'm looking for acoustic guitar music. You can see how some of those move around. If I was looking for trumpet music, it's going to shift around and bring me some other things. I can test out the song by pushing on the play button here, and then if I really like it, I can download it. I can use this star to designate a song as my favorite so that when I come back later, I can click on favorites and access songs that I've used before or I've otherwise designated as favorites. This bar here shows the popularity of the song. Let's go back to the tr tracks. You can uh, filter by a number of different things as well from dur duration and attribution. One quick note on attribution, you can see down here this song, Local Elevator, has a Creative Commons attribution. If I click on that, it tells me that I am free to use this song, but that I need to make sure that I put this information in the description of my video so that I'm giving the artist credit. These other songs that don't have the attribution, are I'm able to use them without crediting anyone. The last thing I'd want to show you about the music section here is that you can search as well. So you've got all these filters, but you could also search for, let's say I'm looking for Chinese music, I've got a scene of someone going down a river. I want it to have a feel of a Chinese river and I can find some Chinese songs. So, so you can search by keyword here as well. Now let's go check out the sound effects. Rather than tracks of music, you get sound effects. You've got the same sort of favoriting options here and you can search. So let's say I need a sound effect for some sort of car crash. I can search the word crash I'm getting all sorts of different things, waves, um, pans, drum set. Well, maybe I need to search for car or car crash. Now I'm getting car impact, bullet hitting a car. So I can test all these out. Again, I can use the download button to pull down the music, the sound effects to my laptop where I can use those sound effects or music in my editing software such as iMovie or whatever you're using on a PC. So creative projects in your classroom that require audio just got a lot more hassle-free. If you think you'll use that with students, I'd love to see a like on the video and also subscribe to my channel to make sure that you continue to get videos like this coming your way. Lastly, please do check out my website, youtubeclassroom.com, where you can learn more about my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom.